Jones. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Rocky's Odyssey, Chapter 2. When we last saw Rocky Jones, he had landed on Posita, one of the twin moons, where the ruler, Bovaro, had moved Rocky's spaceship inside the walls of the city. Space Station, RV-5 to Space Station OW-9. RV-5 to OW-9, come in, Higgins. Space Station OW-9 to RV-5, Higgins to Clark. How's the family, Clark? Great. You should see the youngster. What's behind the United World's communication hookup? I hear all frequencies are tied in for a Space Ranger announcement. It's an address by Secretary Drake. Something big. I don't know what. I'll talk to you later, Higgins. Space Station RV-5 to all communication frequencies. Alert. Learn this. Clear and stand by for an address from Secretary Drake. Count four, count three, count two, count one. Space Station RV-5 to Earth Headquarters, Space Rangers. Clark to Secretary Drake. We are ready, Mr. Secretary. This is Secretary Drake. I have waited until the last possible moment, until the last ray of hope has vanished, before speaking these words. Hmm. War. Without blood ties, there was a man to whom I had the proud feeling of being a father. Rocky. It is now my sorrowful duty to announce that Rocky Jones is missing. In the service of the Space Rangers, this man dedicated his life to helping his friends and solving the problems of the united worlds of the solar system. Those people with beliefs the opposite of ours, even their leader, Cleolanta, feared and respected this man for his bravery, for his skill, for his fairness. What is it, Cleolanta? This, my dear Atlas San, is our relay of a speech by Secretary Drake. It's about Rocky Jones. As precaution against further loss of lives, I now order the search for the orbit jet to cease. All space rangers devoted to the task are to turn back. Long live the memory of Rocky Jones and his loyal crew. Winky, Vina, Little Bobby, and Professor Newton. We need a hundred parts we don't have. Nothing, Rocky. Just that other moon, Nagato, and the atmosphere chain. You know, it's sort of creepy traveling through space on a gypsy moon. And no sign of a space ranger ship, huh? Not a sign. You know, Winky, right now back on Earth there must be a long overdue Hope Gone report on the orbit jet. Yeah, I understand, sir. So we can't expect any help from the outside. We need power for 4.7 escape velocity. And the one person who can help us has declared himself our enemy. So far. Um... There he goes again. Where 
two now, Rocky. Where's he hauling us? You know, Rocky, maybe releasing Bavaro and holding the others wasn't such a good idea after all. Well, Winky, we can't force him to do what we want. I was hoping Quotanda could influence him. Come on. Oh, Vina. Since you're beginning to understand Quotanda's native words, Maybe we ought to pay her a visit and see if she'll ask Favaro to come to the spaceship. Perhaps we can use the translator to effect some sort of compromise. Certainly, Rocky. Am I in on this one, Rocky? Well, you'd better stay here with Professor Newton and Bobby. Ready, Vina? Yeah. Hey. Good luck, Quacky Bones. Well, Bobby, how's the Odyssey coming? What's happening with that guy Ulysses? Right now, I'm reading about his hometown of Ithaca. They haven't heard a word from Ulysses in a long time. And they all think he's dead. Come on. Thank you for coming, Bavaro. Vina, stay with me, please. If you please. Step right over here. Come on. Take this funny looking. There you go. You know, I'd like to see you torn up by a Taurus tiger. Take your hand off of that stupid or I'll knock all your teeth out. <laughs> yes, sir. Why, you big-footed ape? Why don't you keep your feet out of the aisle? Bavaro, we're anxious to be on our way to Earth. Do you have the materials to rebuild our equipment? And will you help us? Bavaro says he's the greatest electrical wizard who's ever lived. He'll help us, but we must promise to do what he asks. Yes, destroy the sister moon, Nagato. There he goes again. Tonva Nagato. Tonva Nagato! Thank you. 
Professor. Have the vial come forward. Perhaps he can explain. Please. Oh, we have music, Vina, but definitely not a waltz. Uh, Bovile, would you please go forward and identify an airship similar to yours? Matanga! Mano, Tanga! Awakey, take post to translator. I want to know what they're saying. Yes, sir. Bobby! Yes, Rocky? Take us in there and hold it for a pickup on their words. And be careful. The airplane came through the atmosphere chain from the Gato. Bavara believes he knows how to fire our missiles. He's going to shoot the airplane down. Come on, Mikey. Rotondo is defending the actions of Bavaro. Nagato was the aggressor and enslaved the people of Posita for a long time. But now Bavaro has made Posita the more powerful moon. Rotondo, what was that strange noise from the airship? It is called Nagato music, Rocky, which destroys a man's intelligence and ambition. Some of Bavaro's finest warriors have been trapped by its spell. Goodness gracious. Bavaro is afraid that someday all of Pulita will be trapped by this spell. That's why he wants you to destroy Nagato. Cortando, have you always been at war with Nagato? Yes, Rocky. Thousands of years ago, there was one planet called Electro. The people were united until they learned how to harness the power of lightning. The planet was exploded into two moons. That explains the atmosphere chain that links Posita and Negato. Thank you, Cortanda. Oh, Winky. Yes, Rocky. Bring the file to the translator. Right away, sir. about this Nagato music. Well, in the Odyssey, they have some sirens on an island and had this music that did exactly the same thing. And this sure had a rough time. destroy Nagato. But in return for your help to repair the spaceship, I will go to Nagato and try to arrange an understanding between the two moons. You have my solemn promise, Bavaro. This will be done before we resume our journey back to Earth. Torva Nagato. Nagato Torvak Ilvax. He's pleading with you to destroy Nagato. Says your plan to go there is impossible. I'll have to take the chance, Bavaro. I'll take any chance to get my crew back to Earth. And this plan is the only grounds on which we can bargain. 
Pavel. Pablexo. 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 Attention. Come in, Magnetic Derrick. Alert crew for a quick blast off, Winky. Yes, sir. Alert. Orbit jet ready for QBO. Secure, please. All set? Set, sir. Successful. We're now in normal space flight. You may come forward. Oh, Bobby. Yes, Professor Newton. Perhaps you'd better tell Rocky about Ulysses' encounter with the siren. Sure, Professor. Sure. <laughs> Saying this music, which had the same effect on people as Nagato music. Well, Ulysses, being real smart, stuffed cotton in everybody's ears. Everybody's, Bobby? Well, no, Rocky. Not in his own. But he had his crew timed to a mast, real tight, so he couldn't get loose and run around wild. Sounds like a good idea. Stay in the spaceship. Alert, learn this. Landing successful. You may come forward. Give me a hand with the space helmets. Rocky, the atmosphere. Rocky, what's the matter with Vithiograph? Nothing, Vina. Why, goodness gracious, isn't there an atmosphere? Yes, Professor. But with sound cut off, these will serve as Ulysses' cotton for the ears of his crew. I get it. So the Nagato music can't get to us, huh? Hey, Rocky, aren't you going to pull the plug on your sound? Can't do it, Winky. I've learned enough words from the translator to talk to Torvac. I have to hear what he says. So if Nagato music starts to affect me, I'll pull this. All right, fix your helmets to leave the spaceship. But, Rocky, you're liable to fall under the spell of the music. Yes, Rocky. There's the danger of your mind being destroyed. Look, can't we tie you up maybe... Just use a little rope, huh?
Horvath. Go on. Von Vekstorak. Quando il pond var negat. Vina has helped him. Horvath is talking again. For the first time in years, I feel calm and at peace with myself. I realize now what a fiendish weapon Negato music has been. What can I do to bring about a peaceful alliance with Bavaro? Professor Newton will explain to you the laws of the United Worlds. They will be of great help in bringing about a peaceful uniting of your two moons. If you please, Professor. With great pleasure. Winky, Bobby. Prepare for blast off, Mickey. Yes, sir. If Torvac agrees, we'll go back to the Zeta and pick up Bavaro. Oh, I thought you meant blast off for Earth. Sorry, Vina, we have to see this through. I promise, Torvac. Well, I sure hope it doesn't take too long. I want folks to know I'm alive. You know, there's a girl back in... Oh, Winky, she'll be true to you. The longer the absence, the warmer the kiss. Yeah. You know, I'll bet that guy Ulysses sure got a warm welcome when he got home. It didn't work out that way, Winky. It didn't? Some folks took advantage of Ulysses being away and everyone thinking he was dead. They practically ruined everything he had worked for. You sent for me, Cleolata? Listen to this, Dr. Sand. The XV-2 to space station RV-5. Rocky Jones to Clark. Come in, Clark. Rocky Joe? Alive? Of course not. But his voice is. I have lengthy recordings here in the recording. Taken in space and made when he was here in Ophetius. I want the United Worlds and Secretary Drake to believe that the lost Rocky Jones has found his way back. I want them to hear it from his own lips and be sure. I have everything here I want Rocky Jones to say. Yes, Mr. Rocky Jones is going to be very instrumental in the downfall of the United World. <laughs> same time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones. Space Rangers. <laughs>